Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial on the Nice Tower channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to model this parametric wall without using any plugin. If you enjoy this kind of tutorials, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. So let's jump in. First, let's create our main wall, draw a rectangle like this, for example, by 400 centimeter weight, comma. 300 centimeter high like this and by thickness 30 like this and now select all and make it group like this now use arc tool and Draw an arc here, like this, and once here, like this. Now let me erase here, like this, and also here. Now we have a curve here, so now Use circle tool and draw a circle right here, for example, by 10 centimeter radius, like this. First, we should select our curve, then use follow me tools, then just Click here on the circle like this. So now select all and make it group. Use move tool, move it here and press control to take a copy like this. Then Select both of them and use solid tools with union option. Make them in one single group. Like this. And also let me use a scale tool and a scale them a little bit like this and from this side to like this. Now again use solid tools with subtract option. First select this shape and the main wall like this and now Use rectangle tool and draw a rectangle here like this and also extrude it by 2 cm, 3 cm. Select all, make it group, then take a copy from this one. Press Ctrl to take a copy up to here, like this. Now just divide it by any number you want, for example, 50, enter, like this. Then let me hide the main wall, like this. Select all of the lowers, again use solid tools with union option make them in one single group like this then go to edit and find and hide click on last like this then again use solid tools subtract option 
as you know the first selection with subtract option will delete so let me choose lowers as a first selection and the main wall as a second selection like this as you can see it's done it was so easy and simple we made a parametric wall without using any plugins i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you for more tutorials please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't already and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends